Hollywood's roller coasters are getting faster and more extreme. The Steel Curtain, for example, has a record-breaking nine inversions. So when we saw the picture of a seat belt right there, unlatched on the Phantom's Revenge, we started asking questions. Channel 11's morning news anchor Catherine Amenta talked with safety experts about some of Kennywood's most popular rides. Bars and belts, anything to keep my guys safe. Paul Cedor always puts safety first when he rides roller coasters with his son. The thing that comes down, I hold that down the whole ride. Why? because I'm terrified that something might happen to my buddy right here. And that's why Channel 11 went to Kennywood for an exclusive behind the scenes tour of how your family safety is carefully planned for on each and every ride. And our visit comes on the heels of this picture. A girl's seatbelt seemed to come unlatched in June on the Phantom's Revenge. When it happened, Kennywood's experts told Channel 11 that girl was perfectly safe and the belt wasn't really necessary. So it got us thinking, what is necessary for a safe day at an amusement park? And if that belt should come undone, you are still very safe. Very safe. It's secondary restraint because of this. Because of this. Okay. This. Marie Ruby is Kennywood's director of ride operations. She says every ride is specifically designed with a system of restraints, from belts and bars to the human body naturally bracing itself. Now take the 99-year-old Jackrabbit, for example. It was built with just a slap bar, but then in the 80s, they added a seat belt. And it was just put in there to make people feel more secure. But she also says, don't take the lap bar for granted. It's there to be held. I know the thrill to ride a coaster is to put your hands up. But you're not supposed to do that. Which brings us to Kennywood's newest thrill ride, the Steel Curtain. Seatbelt and lap bar. You already know. Yeah. Ryan Orzak did his research before his first trip on the Steel Curtain, and he's exactly right. It has the primary restraint lap bar, a secondary, non-essential seatbelt, and a third restraint for your legs. But notice, there's also nothing over the shoulder for the coaster's nine inversions. Because whenever you wear the over the shoulder, you feel more restrained. Right. And I know I, my, I myself was kind of nervous getting on it the first time because I'm like, oh, I wish I had something here. But she said it's actually safer without it because her head wasn't hitting up against anything. As long as the guests are following the rules and sitting the way they are supposed to sit, mm -hmm. you're perfectly safe. <laughs> In West Mifflin, Catherine Amenta, Channel 11 News. But what if it stops and you're upside know. down? I don't then know. what? <laughs> Marie says for every ride, you should never ignore the height requirements. Channel 11 also found safety reports on all of our local parks, and you can check those out at WPXI.com.